Good morning everyone, welcome back to Mobile. The weather has changed, it's finally stopped raining and the sun is out. It's a bit cloudy but unfortunately we move on today. Yeah, if we knew the weather was going to be nice we could have stayed to do the canyoneering but we'd already booked our accommodation for the next place so... Yeah, there's a couple of places we want to check out before leaving the island. So we are heading further south and then we are leaving the island early tomorrow morning. Yeah, so we have a about a two hour bus ride I think. So it says on Google to just walk to the bus stop and jump on a bus and you pay on the bus. Guys, we mentioned the typhoon that happened last December and you can see sort of some of the aftermath. We've got trees coming down. There's full on trees like chopped in half there. This one's blown over. It's crazy, isn't it? And that's just one small section as well. You can imagine the damage caused by the typhoon across the whole country in places where there has been houses and obviously communities been destroyed, roofs blown off and it's just crazy to think. So we got on the bus, it was literally passing us as we were walking, so we just jumped off quickly. After travelling on the bus for about half hour, we were told we needed to get off and jump in the tricycle to take us further because the road's been completely destroyed by the typhoon in December. It's been, in some places, there is no, there's no road, they are rebuilding it, but obviously it's going to take a, ta like a long time to rebuild. Yeah. There's trees, piles of trees, piles of rocks, some places the road's completely been taken away. Um, so we have to jump on a tricycle and come down to the next stop and then we're going to get on one of these buses that will hopefully take us the rest of the way. Okay, and uh, we have made it to the little town next to our hotel for the night. We just need to find an ATM to get some money out. Hopefully there's one here. Should be. Otherwise we can't pay for a hotel. That's the name of the place we're at, Samboan. 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 Okay, so we made it to our room for the night. We will show you around now. They just give a little bit of a clean. And then we're going to head out and check some of the waterfalls in the area, which look really cool. Yeah, we haven't seen a waterfall yet. No, but yeah, this place is really cool. And they've got chickens. a really small puppy. Oh, he's adorable. They've got chickens, they've got, they got everything here. And it's like we're right in the garden. It's like a sort of like a hut sort of vibe. It feels like we're in the forest, really cool. We've checked into the hotel as you've seen and we've just headed out. So we'll show you around the hotel when we sort of get back this evening. Yeah, we are heading to Binalay and Waterfalls. So we've only got sort of one afternoon, I guess now, in the little town of Samoan, and they have a few waterfalls. So we're going to check one out. Crazy. Guys, we made it to the main waterfall. That's cold. It's freezing. <laughs> Look how big it is. <laughs> oh my god, it's so cold. I thought it was going to be like, we've just come and see the waterfall. Yeah. And we turned up and we were like, no, no, you're good, let me go in.
what's crazy is that we've got it fixed entirely dug down. Both the cut are going down the roof coming up, but there's no one else here. That was definitely one of the funnest things we have done yet. I feel like people rave about the Tanya Nima and make out some holes, but for the price that we pay, 200 pesos each, which is about how much? Like 3 pounds 50 Like £3.50 each. each. We have the whole place for out. Yeah, and the guide was really cool. And the guide. Shout out to you, Raymond. Oh, he's crazy. Awesome. Jumping off that height. Crazy height's. awesome. Considering cars on poles were closed, we didn't really have the option to do it. It was nice to be able to do something. I, when yeah. we got here, I thought we were just coming to see to see a waterfall and yeah. maybe like swimming out there. Yeah. Raymond called us and he was like, I'm your guide, here's a life jacket. Yeah. Off you go. Yeah, he just took us up there, showed us the jumps, we would jump in, so for the okay. swim, yeah. and we changed to another pool. But yeah, as you've seen, it was really fun. So much fun. The water's always a bright blue. Oh, like turquoise blue, wasn't it? Was it was amazing. So much fun. And this one done a big jump. I did. I was really scared, but I did it. I'm proud that I did it. I'm hungry now though, I don't know where you're starving, let's go find something to eat. Yeah. So we just got back now, just before I heading out for food, we thought we'd show you the room. So we paid £17 for this room, there's no aircon, which is a bit of a gutter, but it's not too warm in here. And we have got a fan, so it's very small. Got a bed, little dressing table, uh, we have got a fridge and some sort of oven, like a little mini oven. We probably won't be using that though because... Yeah. We're only lift here yeah. for one night, we're leaving early in the morning. We've got a TV which we actually haven't checked out yet. And this is probably the best part. I wish we had this in every single hotel we stay in. It's just our own water filter. Yeah, and that's not exactly going to run out anytime soon. No, it's great. Awesome. And then this is just our bathroom. Yeah, look at that. Just a some tables and some chairs. Perfect. And as we said earlier, the place comes with your own dog. I just love the trees as well. It's just like palm trees, coconut trees everywhere. I think it's coconut. And these ones, what are these ones? Which ones? These like big leaf oh, ones. They're I really know. like yeah, they're really, really cool. like tropical, aren't they? Yeah. So yeah, we're just gonna head for some food now and this used to be a really cool place in the town. We're hoping it's open. We're gonna check it out. So we've come down to a spot called Lucky Niners and they actually do unlimited wings, unlimited pizza, unlimited carbonara. It's like 209 pesos a head um, and then yeah, it's unlimited. But if you do leave anything over, you've got to pay for what you leave over. So we've ordered a pizza each and a carbonara each um, and we're just going to go from there. That'll probably be enough for both of us. And then just some drinks as well. But yeah, uh, we'll show you when it comes. It should be good. Mmm. How's it good? Oh my god, yeah. I don't think I've ever tasted something to do before. I haven't either. Okay, our food here, we've got a pizza each. So I've got ham and cheese, and I've just got ham and pineapple. And there's some like beef on there as well, but yeah. we'll try that in a sec. And then we've got the carbonara each as well. It's actually quite a, the carbonara is quite a small portion, which I'm really glad of. I thought it was going to be a massive one. And if we want more, we could just ask for more. For the same price. Okay, we weren't going to film eating, but I've just tried the pizza and it's so unique. It's really, really good. Um, the sauce is like a special, I don't really know what to compare it to. It's not like a normal pizza sauce, but yeah, that's really good. And Kelsey just said, Calvinara's here. Amazing. Highly recommend coming here if you're in, what's the place called? Samboan. Samboan. Check out Lucky Niners and come and get the pizza. Really good. We are so full, but we did it and defeated. We finished both pizzas and both carbonaras. But I have not been this full for weeks. Whew. All right, guys, we are back in the hotel room now. We were just discussing on the walk back 
what an absolute gem of a place this is this little town called Samboen. Yeah, like we said, we hadn't heard of this town at all. The only reason we came across it was because it's really close to the port that we're going to to get a boat tomorrow. And it's such a lovely little town. The people are amazing. We've had such a nice welcome here. Yeah, like there was issues with our card, the ATM, but like they gave us a lift from the hotel to the ATM. We then went to the waterfall and that was awesome. Yeah. That was class. We weren't expecting that at all. Um, and then we went to that restaurant and that was also also a little gem. Oh, so awesome. The people were lovely. They were all like waving. Yeah, then we took a couple of clips and it was like, it was quite full there and everyone was like waving in the cliff and stuff. Yeah. But yeah, really pleased that we came across this place to be honest. Definitely. Because it's not somewhere where we've ever heard of or we've heard of people going or seen people going before. Not at all. So definitely check out Sambo N and head to the... Um, what was it called? Lucky Niners for food. Yeah. And the, what was the waterfall? The Binalaya. Binalaya? Yeah, Binalaya. Hidden waterfalls. Yeah. What we thought was just going to be a boring little trip just to another yeah. hotel to sleep for the night to get ready for the next adventure tomorrow has actually been one of my favourite days in the Philippines so far. It has been really good, hasn't it? It is. Turns out there's quite a few things to do in the area. Yeah, and we were saying we probably could have stayed here a couple of nights. Yeah, another day. Because there's a lot of other waterfalls, there's a lake to visit. It's there's, right on the sea as well. Yeah, there's so much to do here. It's such a nice little neighbourhood. Yeah, definitely check it out, I would say. But we are going to end here and then we'll pick it up tomorrow. Yeah, we have an exciting day tomorrow. Thanks for watching. We'll see you again in the next one.